Hey everybody, look what Melanie's doing. There's a little bow pasta. And she's got some stringy pasta and some globby pasta. Okay. Neat. It's not sticking together either. And you were going to make some colored pasta earlier, are you yeah, said? Yeah, this is the carrot one. Oh, that's carrots. Oh, I see. I didn't even realize that's it is darker color. Darker color. Alright, and over here you've got what? What's blueberry. this? What's blueberries? Yeah. You're going to use blueberries? Yeah, I just need the color. Oh, interesting. So Melanie's got the pasta maker out. And what did you use to make the uh, bow ties? Um, just a fork. Oh, you did it with a fork? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I wouldn't have thought of that. See? Neat. Well, that's homesteading at its finest, people. It's not neat. Making everything yourself. You see, I don't want to throw some stuff. This is the bigger pasta. You yeah, can use is. this as a spoon. <laughs> yeah, it's true. For dips or whatever. Or for eating. Oh. Scooping up your sauce. Oh, this is shell. Kind you know, he's just having fun. This is going straight in the boiling water. Yeah. So we don't have to dry it first. Nope. Okay. And we've got a homemade sauce over here on the other yeah. side. That's a lot of noodles. Is that the whole batch that you had there, or did you make more that I saw? Mm. Yeah. That's all. Oh. It looks like a lot in there. Interesting. So everything's homemade today. Oh, looks real pasta. Let's see. Yeah, let's see how it turns out. Hey everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world in the very wet and rainy. Cloudy, dark, off-grid project. I pronounce all of that because my weather app says it's currently partly sunny. Actually, it's been saying blazingly sunny all morning. And this is what I've seen. This is the weather app, Lewiston. Mm -hmm. Okay, partly sunny. And this is what I see. And it's been raining all day. Earlier, the app said just a bit ago, it just switched to partly sunny. So they're catching on. They're getting there. I think the weatherman needs to look out the window. I think he's stuck in a cubicle somewhere in the middle of an office complex. Because and he hasn't seen what I see. Um, it was darker and raining. And the app said bright and sunny. Pure sunny. Weird. But anyway, that shows you clearly that the weather I show here is not always the same as the weather on the app. So, here we are. Anyway, I plan on working on the firewood pile some more, some more today. I'm out here without a, a jacket on. It's not bad. It's 44 degrees isn't too bad. After uh, we had minus 15 and 44 feels like summer. So, I uh, hope to get this, some of this knocked out today. Um, it's thawing out better and better. Our automatic LED light bulbs are great, really, really good. They turn on at night and off in the day and I don't have to think about it at all. That is really good. Yeah, it's yeah. looking just like out of the box pasta then. Wow, that's weird how that works. You know, we've done it before, but it's just fun and surprising every time we do it. So that is tomato juice from our garden, right? That we made ourselves, yeah. yes? Yep. Good. Good stuff. <laughs> Michelle's playing with a cat. <laughs> and there is some homemade pasta. Hello. Michelle's wait. <laughs> uh, you want some pasta? She's waiting. <laughs> yeah, are you hungry? Yes. You hungry? Well, we're going to enjoy it. Finally, the weather caught up with what the weatherman was saying. I've got the pipe power experiment out here. The, uh, um, I can run it here because Melanie's washing clothes in the bathtub while she uses, drains the washing machine into the bathtub. So she needs that place free and clear. 
So I can run my experiments out here. We got beautiful sun on the solar panels now. It's starting to warm up better. It cooled off. It was raining for a while. I like it. I hope it stays like this. I got a lot to do today. I'm working on the wood piles. Melanie and Michelle are working in the garden. Michelle is out there next to Melanie. Having a blast. A country girl. She's picking up pretty stones. Full blast solar power. Looking good. I got the wheelbarrow going back and forth. Got to clean up that yard. You can see a difference. I've been cleaning up a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to clean up after the winter. Uh, cleaned off the truck. It was covered in pine needles. Cleaned up uh, cat droppings from our cats that no longer are here. But they left behind their little presents for us in the snow. And the snow is gone, so I'm cleaning that up. And then I might even get some planting in today. We'll see how it goes. I hope, but I don't know with the time. I want to get more cleaning done. I got all this cut up. I'm going to go in and take a little break. And I'm going to start hauling it over and stacking it. A lot of this here is wet though. It was down there near the ground lower. Some can be burnt this season, but a lot won't be. And in here is a lot of ice. I did as much as I could for now, but uh, you wouldn't know it until you start digging in. There's some thick ice in there. It's all frozen up. So that's going to take some time. And that sure didn't help that thaw out any of this, summer, this uh, winter, or uh, dry out. It'll be ready for next year though. It will. We got a good cord stacked up, uh, full cord. And probably another cord out here, at least. Cord and a half. That's a nice amount. Well, I'm gonna go get a snack, some energy and see about clearing this up. Now this little stuff is going in our porch wood stove for uh, baking and outdoor cooking. That's perfect for that. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. But I wanna clean up this whole front yard. I moved the trailer out of sight for now in line with everything else and try to clean this up. Let's get a overview of everything. It's getting better. Still got a lot of a lot of wood to put away. But it's a lot less than it was. Yeah. Alright. I'll go in and I'll come back out and get back to it. Up here is about as high as I can go. I figure I might show you that when I come back through. That's as high as I want to go here. That's five feet. I could go six, but I really don't want to throughout the whole summer. The problem back here, there's ice all over, and I don't want to start stacking firewood on top of ice and then have that melt the ground give and then the woodpile give. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, because I do want to clear off all that firewood out of the yard and stack it up over here where it belongs. And hopefully this year I'll fill this whole square with firewood. I had a good start. I did. Hi, big guy. Tomcat. Psst. Hey. My big friend. He's big as a raccoon. Look at that belly. Look at that big belly. That's a good cat. Melanie has noodles. I won't touch them now that I'm a pet and a cat that she made, all kinds of pasta I should say, on the wood stove. And she just told me it's dry and it's pretty much ready to put away. Fun stuff. That's, that's a good meal right there. A fun meal waiting for us. She made uh, different ones. There's bows and, and she made some weird patterns here. And there's some twisted bows. And there's some 
fortune cookies. So yeah, they look just like fortune cookies. And just like you did in the old days, you can leave your potatoes in the garden. And if you cover them up, and of course the snow helped, and you can harvest them in the spring. This is potatoes from last year. Miniature ones. Well, another day is done at the off-grid homestead. It was busy, busy, busy today. Did a lot off-camera. We worked our butts off today out here. In the yard, in the garden. I felt good to be outside. Felt good to have warmth and not need a coat. Well, that's it. I'm going to take in the camera and uh, get this video edited for you all. We're all sore. We worked hard. This was our first full outdoor day in a long, long, long time. All of us, including Michelle. She's out. She is totally out. Um, Melanie took her up, said goodnight to me, put her down, gone. We all had fun. We played in the snow. I think, I don't know if the camera shows it, we played in the snow. We had snowball fights, and we had sand fights. There's, we were playing with the sand, and the, uh, we had fun. And worked. Alright guys. See what tomorrow brings. It's Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World, and the Off-Grid Project. Good night.